Welcome back to Gods We'll Be Watching. Let's try Mission 2 yet again. Failed it quite a bit on uh, the previous attempt. 20 days of empty words. Back into the Xenolifer mothership, so... We've already, uh, we've already experienced the... The story of Burden here, essentially, uh, trying to prove that... He can, go he can go through this with uh, non-violent means and then learns that the situation is quite the opposite at the moment. So, it's time to, uh, time to endure 20 days of torture, or at least attempt to, one more time. I am, uh, I'm gonna hope here now that we don't have to let Jack die this time around. I'm, I'm gonna try to keep us both alive, of course. Uh, I really think provocation in the first couple of, uh, couple of options here is the way to go. It doesn't hurt us nearly as much to, uh, take fists to the face as it does to endure through other means of torture. So I'm gonna go ahead and provoke a couple times, and then I think I'll, uh, I'll take an opportunity to think. Get that lie percentage up. Can't wait to see the wrench torture. I know, that's so exciting, isn't it? <laughs> so exciting. Can't wait. Alright. Let's, uh... Hmm. Can I provoke with Jack again, or should I just think with Jack? I think that might be a, a safe play. Maybe I'll provoke with Burden one more time. I think I provoked with Jack once more than I provoked with Burden. We might be able to not get, or uh, not have to lie a single time in this first instance. Or at least attempt to lie. Ah, there we go, yes. Missing the Holistic Baseball League, very good. There we go. Wrench hype, yes. There we go. We've done it. We've been through worse than this, yes, yes, yes. Just focus on staying alive. We're good, Jack. We got this shit, man. We are ready to go. We are ready to go. Welcome back to another day of the disturbingly pleasant Irving and Alexander show. <laughs> yes. Poor Alexander, man. He always gets the blunt end of the stick. He never gets to, uh... He never gets to be in the spotlight, does he? Coming up next in the indie spotlight, Alexander. Tell me your names. Alright. He still hasn't even gotten that much out of us. I think I can, uh, maybe provoke with Jack here. Take an opportunity to think. And then we will have a pretty good chance at a lie to, sur or, uh, to recover a little bit. Got a time for me, Jab at the Circus? <laughs> Got him! Uh, Smolder Guys, that's a good question, man. We kind of have to suspend belief in that regard, I guess. The fact that they don't get any food and water for, uh... Supposedly 20 days time. I've heard that uh, maybe it's not that long, but I'm just assuming that um, we will have to endure for that much. Uh, Stallion, you missed the last uh, time, so uh, essentially this is, uh, I believe, from what I've been told in the game, this is uh, taking place a few days before the events of the first mission. I'm gonna go ahead and think here, by the way. This is a few days before the events of the first mission, and, um... We've been captured by... The Holistic Empire... Who are trying to, uh, torture us for information... About our rebellious cause. And we are, uh, trying to hold out for as long as we can... Not answering their questions, really just, uh... Holding out through torture, really, and, uh, you'll see... What happens with the um, with the developments in the in the next cycle, the next day's cycle coming up? Uh, let's go ahead and ooh, do I want to think? I, I will think here. I'm not sure if I uh, am doing this properly again. Okay, Jack is uh, really struggling now. What did you steal from our database? Yeah, we're in a uh, pretty awful shape. All right, let's have Jack go ahead and beg. Please stop, or I'll die. Okay, we have plenty of time to breathe. Alright, good. That worked out. That worked out okay. Hello, X. How's it going? 
Uh, wasn't Alexander the one you played as in the chapter one during the hostage situation? This guy? The big dude? I don't think so. It should be 22 days because Liam tells you to wait 20 days. Well, yeah, that's what I thought too, Mediocre Platform. I thought it was like 20 additional days after he uh, shows up. But, apparently that's not the case. Um, I may be able to get away with thinking here again. We try not to confess in the early goings, of course, because that would put us in a really bad position. My back is killing me, let's call it a day. See, I don't like it either, having to hurt you. If you want to play the herd, it's my duty to beat the ever-living shit out of you. I hope you understand. You want to sit, you can switch places whenever you want! Ha ha ha! He called us darlings. Oh my goodness. What a guy. Andy, what's up? How's it going, dude? I seem to do this a lot. I even have a special room with a huge drainage trench. That is a very, uh... Very deliberate torture room, is it not? Okay. Run into Liam one more time. I managed to kill Jack before Liam even got here the last time, which was really shitty. He's pretty close to dying here as well. But, uh, yeah, so, uh, Liam tells me he's the only lifer is pre uh, preparing a rescue operation. He wants us to endure 20 days of torture. Clever plans aren't the quickest, blah, 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 blah. And then he offers to get us a few things to, uh, help us out here. So, uh, the three options are painkillers, which we pretty much don't want ever. Uh, healing kits, which are very good. In fact, I'm probably going to take a healing kit with the condition that I'm in at the moment. And then, uh, information, which of course improves our lie chance, but our lie chance is okay at the moment. Thinking is strictly forbidden in the Holistic Empire, is punishable by wrenches to the knee, teeth being pulled, and being socked in the face. Yeah, and occasionally having a gun pointed at your head. Alexander loves hamsters. The entire collection. Oh, right, yeah, the, the hamster torture. Yep. That's a whole bunch of fun. Oh, God. Alright, what's he gonna go with? Probably the wrench, I would imagine. Yep. There we go. Okay, well... My lie percent is, uh... Fairly high up at the moment. I can get away with provoking and then I'm probably gonna have to think... One more time. In order to, uh... Get that up to a pretty... High level. Walker, yes! <laughs> Trying desperately to pass through, uh, mission two here. Oh, wow, okay, that was, uh... Well, that put us in a lot worse condition than I expected. Oh, shit. Alright, I'm gonna have to beg here. You're close to killing me. We have plenty of time. Alright, good. <sighs> Ranch hype! Oh, god. Yeah, I was gonna say, we can take a fair bit of damage now, so I think I might provoke with Jack. And then we can probably, uh... After that, I imagine we can think one more time, because we're both in this kind of condition. Just get that lie percentage quite a bit higher up. Why did he put the tooth in his pocket? I mean, where else would you keep the tooth, I guess, right? Oh, man. Alright. 96%. I'm, I'm willing to take those odds, I think. We wanted to steal all the intel we could from the Holistic Empire. Information is power. Makes sense, doesn't it? Who do you work for? Alright. We can afford to take a bit more damage now. What I want to do here is think and then beg. And hope that that's long enough to make it to the end of this, uh... The end of this mission. Or the end of this day, rather. Hopefully. Oh, nice! Perfect! Meeting these two hot new trainees. That reminds me I'll probably kill you soon. Gonna need that chained wall. Oh my god. Not. Not a pleasant fellow. Alright, this is, uh, pretty much exactly where we want to be right now, though. I miss Everdusk Headquarters. Don't even mention that name while we're in here. Whatever happens, never, never confess our true identities. Cut me some slack, man! Jeez. Nader, after two weeks of without internet, holy shit. That sucks, dude. Welcome back, though. My favorite blonde. Thought I was your favorite blonde. What? You two are my favorite hostages about to be free. What should I bring you? Information is definitely going to help us out next day. There we go. Alex removed Jack's tooth with his hand. I know, yeah, Alexander's a badass, dude. There we go. Alright, fully healed up. Very nice. Whew. Here comes some slacks. There you are. Alright, this one is uh, very, fairly easy to deal with, I think. Dooby doo dooby da dooby doo, yeah. Ooby baby, ooby yeah. 
I love karaoke. Ooby doo, rip your eyes. Ooby doo, nice. Ooby doo, you will die here. Yeah. Go fuck yourself, you crazy son of a bitch. Poor sense of rhythm. Pixelated, how's it going? Alex has some kind of metal hand going on. That's as far as I understand it, but, uh... Oh, let's see here. So we, uh... Already have a decent lie percentage. We can go ahead and think for, uh... For free at the moment. That glove can be a pain in the ass. Yes, indeed. So yeah, he's got, like, a metal hand, and he was taking a blowtorch to it to make it, uh... Nice and steamy. Where are you idiots from? Alex, where are you doing? Oh, man. First time seeing this game, Nader, it is... It is intense. It is crazy. Uh... Let's see. Tell you what, I'm I'm thinking uh, I can go ahead and. Well, you know what? I might. Uh, I'm gonna take the chance here. Just people oppressed by the holistic empire. We are the resistance, and we'll overthrow your empire. It makes sense. It does indeed. Who is your boss? All right. He's prepared this. I can think with Jack, but that will that gets them off sync. So, what do I want to do here? My lie percent is very far down. What I could try to do is, uh, you know what? This is actually a pretty good opp opportunity at the moment. I can provoke here. I might just provoke for the rest of the day, honestly. It's not a terrible idea. Let's provoke with Jack. But I think we can make it uh, through the rest of the day just by provoking. So let's do this again. Because we're going to get a 100% lie percentage after this day is over because we got uh, information. Ooh, that one hurts Burden a lot, though. The leader's name is something like Crappy Rebel, right? Yeah, that sounds about right. But yeah, we never, never want to confess unless it's like an absolute uh, last-ditch effort. Okay. He's threatening now. Hopefully this... Uh, Provocation by burden is enough to get through the end of the day. Who is your boss? Nope. All right, we need one more. Let's go ahead and provoke with Jack one more time because it looks like he's in slightly better shape than uh, Burden is. Although I'm pretty sure. Oh, it's time for our secret weapon. Bring me the red blade crabs. No, wait. We had them for dinner yesterday. <laughs> Shit. Buzz killer. See you tomorrow. Cool. All right, that's not so bad. Yeah, you probably want to keep him out of sync. Exactly. That appeared to uh, have done the trick. I'm afraid of the wall. You should be, Jack. Is that some kind of metaphor? <laughs> I'm afraid of Pink Floyd. The fucking wall with chains in front of me. If it's hard spending all night looking at that shit and imagining myself hanging on it, I'm more afraid of the axe. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Poor Burden without his dick, he is nothing, yeah. Yeah, it looks like uh, Burden taking a hot crowbar to the balls is actually more painful than being Burden in the face. Hard to imagine. Don't you die on me, damn it. Abraham here won't let me die, except for the last time, but don't pay attention to that. Teamwork will make the torture a lot easier to withstand. Mm-hmm. Any motivation is good, considering the circumstances. True that. Alright. Might be able to go with information again. We might have that luxury. But... I'm kind of thinking, uh, interchanging healing kit and information might be in my best interest. So I'm gonna go with healing kit this time. And, uh... Uh, because the the ninja dude's like trying to work out this plot that it, that requires that they sit in these chairs and endure torture for a while, and then he's gonna let them free. You recall Kernsmith fa bandit family. All right, there we go. Bane turtle, how you doing? Right. So yeah, I think we want to. Uh, if we're not at like full. Oh God. Well, speak of the devil. There he is. Raise your hands if you want to be free. In time, I'll raise your teeth up to your brains. Boom. Got him. All right, your family and your pets, and then I'll burn your pets' clothes. Blah, blah. I'll burn everything you hold dear. Blah. Okay, so this is shitty. Jack will die if I let him be. Uh, if I let him be cranked twice. So, step one is never provoke with Jack. We rule out that option straight away. Might be able to beg with Jack if uh, worse comes to worse, but I don't know if we're going to want to do that. So first of all, I think I'm going to provoke with Jack. Or not with Jack, rather, with Burden. Little bitch like you won't get much from us! Uh, there we go. 
Confess everything, oh god. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying not to let Jack die, but I, I just doing my best in general to succeed. I attempted this uh, last time, and uh, Jack ended up dying like the first couple of days, and that made things very interesting. All right, provoking quite a bit here. I can provoke one more time if I really wanted to, but I don't think I really want to do that at the moment. I could try, uh... Huh. Yeah, I can't think. Can't provoke with Jack. Look left on the wall. Oh, you're talking about where Jack is. Yeah, there we go. No, Jack is on the wall right now. It's got quite the burden to bear. <laughs> yes, nice double pun. That's incredible. Pig mess, how's it going? Uh, let's see. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna go for this. Come on, weakling. Piece of garbage. Let's see it. Let's see what you got. Alright. We can lie. We have a pretty successful lie chance here. Our leader is Brian Kern Smith, also known as the Empire Destroyer. It does and does indeed. Alright. I can't think. I can't think right now. I pretty much need to take a gamble and hope that I can beg at least one time. So let's, uh, let's provoke and then hope that I can beg, or at least hope that this, uh, results in the end of this day. Can't imagine where idiots like you would hide. Oh god, alright, well, tell you what, I might confess one time here, not, so I don't have to, uh, take the chance on, uh, begging. But I think my uh, success rate is going to be... Eh, it's going to be okay if I try to beg right now. Yoy man, how you doing? I think I'm going to confess. I'm just going to play it safe because I already have... Uh, or I haven't confessed up to this point, so I think I'd rather uh, play it safe here. We handle our operations from our mothership, undefeated for seven years, so don't even try. Interesting. So, you live on a board a spaceship, always on the run. That's how cowards roll, I guess. And end of the day, wonderful. All right, so that was the uh, that was the safe way of doing it. You won't even give us a prize. Damn it! <laughs> Yolo. No, I, I wanted to play it safe, man. I want to play it safe at least one time. Why do you think he began this revolution? He told me he was from a huge hive tech planet. He was a speck of dust on a very dirty planet. He came to be some kind of rebel punk who led a big group of youngsters against the big corporations. You know what I should have done there, actually? I should have provoked with Jack. Because he could have taken one stretch. And then, um... Then I could have confessed if I hadn't reached the end of the day at that point. That would have been a good way to save a confession there, but oh well. That has nothing to do with Xenolifer's current cause, but I guess he always had an appetite for revolution. Seems like you do got pretty close. I'm a good listener. He is indeed. Alright. This game is extremely unsettling, it's true. Staying for the whole stream randomness, right on. Good to see you, man. You want me to get you something to read? Let's fight them with culture. There we go. Alright, we can go for information here. We got the healing kit for this last one. Be in great shape. I really should have tried to provoke with Jack because we had the uh, healing kit on the way and he was in great shape anyway. That's good motivation indeed. Alright. Not going so bad thus far. We're doing okay. Let's see what they go for today. Did you have a good night? These wooden chairs are shit. You had comfy armchairs, but they just weren't worth cleaning the blood off of. Mm hmm. You like games? Really into ga- Oh boy. Seven barreled lucky revolver. Russian, the name of the guy who invented the game. Alright, well, looks like my healing didn't really matter here. One out of seven chance of dying. What what happens if I provoke with Jack? Don't be shy now, show me what those big ape hands can do. Oh! Okay, so apparently he just points the gun at Burden regardless of anything. So provoking is a terrible idea. That was a complete waste. That's really shitty. Alright, I'm going to think here. Actually, provoking resets the uh, odds, I believe. Oh my god. That is seriously nerve-wracking. You won't steal a car, you won't kill a baby, piracy is a crime! 
Confess your plans. Maybe we should provoke again here, because we can reset our, uh, reset our percentage chance. Let's do it. 20% chance of dying. Oh, come on! Really? 20%?! Are you fucking kidding me?! That is bullshit! That is bullshit! Oh my god, man. Wow. Fuck that. This mission is ridiculous. This mission is fucking re goddamn ridiculous, dude. Oh my goodness. Whatever. Ah, the odds are not in my favor. Good god. Alright, provoke a shitload. Blah, 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 blah. It's just straight up bad luck, man. It really is. That's just really shitty. <laughs> Monster kill. Uh, I am super salty about that. Alright. Just gonna keep thinking. Keep thinking. No reason to, uh... Not take the punches the entire day here. Alright, blah, 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 blah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's something like 20 days, Timmy. I don't know if it's actually 20 days, but it's uh, certainly a long longer than uh, the furthest I've gotten. I mean, like, I don't know when the gun level happens, though. I'm pretty sure it's not just a systematic thing. I think there's an element of randomness to what, uh, what weapon shows up, so that kind of worries me. Joshy, how you doing? 20, how is 20% bad odds for me? 20% is the same odds, regardless of anything. It's a 20% chance. Cyborg guy, blah, 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 blah. I ripped out his sister's ribs because I'm a piece of shit. Uh, no, this isn't the whole game. Yeah, this is just a mission. I believe there's five total missions. Alright. Well, we got a pretty good chance of lying successfully, but... Hmm... I think we should provoke first, see if we can get them both on kind of the same level of pain at the moment. Okay, they're both pretty, uh, pretty similar now. If I were to lie here, I'd be, uh, at pretty much 100% health. Want to fund our cause by selling classified information. There we go. Now, I believe thinking would be good here. There we are. An element of randomness, yes indeed. Oh, goodness. This is mission two, yeah. Alright, let's go ahead and think again. Maybe we can, uh... Might need to beg with Jack, actually, yeah. Ooh, that's not good. Yeah, we're hurting. Alright, let's see if Jack can beg here. Don't do it, big boy. You're close to killing me. Alright, there we go. Got some breath. How'd you get in without being noticed? It's a space laboratory. I know, right? That's crazy. Alright, let's lie here. Our hacker guy obliterated the system controlling your emergency exits in a matter of minutes! Nice. Wait! Forgot to get the ice cream. There we go. Sweet. Okay. There we go. Pretty good through day two. That'll do. That'll do. Fallout 2, 95% hit chance and missed three times. <laughs> no kidding, God. It's just so ridiculous. Best soldier I ever served with, that dog. No offense, none taken. It's a good dog, man. Uh, I don't know what the, uh, what the factors are in begging. I'm pretty sure you can just, uh, you usually just want to beg when you're, uh, in, uh, in really dire shape, so hopefully that's the case. Or it'll, uh, be more successful when we do it that way. But we'll go for information this time around, I think. Well, I mean, I could take the healing kit and then just, uh, take a shitload of damage. I think I'll go that route. Yeah, there's all kinds of different scenarios that show up. Kiona, how's it going? The gutters for the blood, I imagine, Dr. Fetus. Or Docker Fetus. Dr. Fetus. Shitty wooden chairs! Blip, blip, blick. Okay. It's wrench time, I think. Let's see, yep, there he is. Alright. We will provoke. Actually, I'll think, because we're both on, uh, we're in, both kind of in sync at the moment. Man, they got some really good sound effects, unfortunately. <laughs> oh, man. So 
I think I want to, uh... Oh, we're both in pretty bad shape already here. Alright, let's see if I can beg. Only 63% chance I don't want to risk my life on that. Close to killing me. Plenty of time. Alright, I'm getting lucky with my begging right now. I think, uh, what I want to do is... Think again. Lie. Provoke with Jack. Provoke with Burden. And then hopefully we'll have made it through the day. I think that's going to be my best shot. Ah, ah, just the feeling on my teeth when I watch that. Oh my goodness. Alright, there's our lie. Our leader is a righteous one, an invisible being that rules over joy and sorrow. Are you... What? Really? 5%. 5% chance. Of this shit happening. Wow. Fuck that. Fuck that! Are you kidding me? What the fuck am I supposed to do? Good lord! Oh, wow. Unbelievable. Unbelievable, man. This is just some absolute horseshit. Wow. Alright. <laughs> Fucking ridiculous. I don't know if the game's ever gonna let me beat this stage, man. Now they can take all the teeth they want. Yeah, exactly. Bear, don't leave the house today. Yeah, it's clearly not looking... looking up for me this afternoon. Alright, just provoke for days. Axel, how you doing? Holy shit. I had to play the lottery, no kidding. You just keep punching me in the face, I don't give a shit. I don't care. Just keep going at it. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, God, I mean, like, I was getting okay luck with the begging, but... 5%. One out of 20 chance. That that would happen. Wow. You know that RPG beat this one first try. Good. <laughs> I'm glad. My god. Raise your hands if you want to be free. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna get used to these lines, apparently. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the curse of the bear lug, no kidding. Benefits when I need them. And curses when I don't. Okay. Well, we can think again. Uh, provoking versus thinking. Provoking doesn't increase your percentage chance to lie, but provoking only deals damage to one of your characters as opposed, as opposed to both of them. So that's why you want to do that. Alright. Well... I don't think I can fail with this, but I could be proved wrong. Let's find out. I want to fund our cause by selling classified information. Actually, I think I just made, I, uh, may have made a mistake there. I mean, we're both in pretty good shape now, but I think I might have wanted to uh, try to provoke a couple times and then lie because I had a guaranteed shot. All right, let's go ahead and think here. I think Jack can take a bit more damage. So that's why I provoked with him before that. There we go. Nope, just kidding. Jack is uh, getting screwed over here. Let's see if I can beg with Jack right now. Alright, there we go. Good luck with the beg again. Uh, I'd like to provoke with Burden. And hopefully that gets us to the end of the day. That would be very nice. Ow. Bad enough. Nice. Beautiful. Alright. Time for the beers. I'll bring you one if you survive for a month. Nice. Uh, I've been at this uh, today for about 34 minutes and 30 seconds, roughly, give or take, a few minutes. Sometimes I wonder what we're doing with our live. These chairs make you wonder about a lot of things. I've been on the Xenolife for three years now, and of course we didn't join them to defend their cause, but I ended up liking it. Xenolife are good people with good intentions, but that's not the only thing that matters. What do you mean? It's all about their methods. You may want to save the world, but great ideals come with a big question. How much blood has, been, has to be spilled? In order to succeed. 
do. Liam's here. Hooray. Good stuff. All right. Here we go. Information? Or a healing kit. I think I need to go with a healing kit this time. We're already kind of low. I'm pretty sure we're going to be running into the... Uh... Yeah, no kidding. I was ready to... <laughs> I was totally ready to fail with 100% chance of success. This is mission two, randomness. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, I think I haven't read this one yet. That one actually seemed nice. Snap out of it and start hitting us, please. <laughs> Holy cow. Alright. It is wrench time, after all. I will think here. I'll probably have to think again. Might have to confess today if it doesn't want to be nice to me. Alright. I'm going to try my hand at begging as soon as we get down into the, uh, down in the dumps here. Hmm. Yeah. Because we want to stay in as uh, bad of condition as we can. Don't rush. We have all the time in the world. Alright. Breathe good. That's perfect. Uh, let's see. I think uh, my best bet is going to be lie now. 7% chance of failure. We actually didn't get that 7% chance. Holy shit. Now I haven't seen what happens to Jack. I hope not to. That sounds like a terrifying experience. When he's on the wall. Alright, we will think again here. I'm gonna try to get that percentage chance up. I'm hoping what we can do is just think twice. Oh, just kidding. Apparently we're both about to die. Alright, hopefully this ends the day. That would be convenient. Nope. Not gonna happen. Alright. I'm gonna try my hand at begging again. Don't rush it. We have all the time in the world. That won't work. Now answer. Oh, shit. Well... We could confess. Thinking obviously gets us killed. We can't lie. Begging isn't going to work, so let's just confess, I guess. He bought some cargo access codes in the black market. I'm sorry, there's a lot of people willing to sell you out. Oh, boy. There's still things that bug me. And end of the day. Wonderful. All right. Well, we used the confession right at the end. Shit. How's the weather, Barris? Doing good. Doing good, man. Beautiful day. Why don't we choose this life of suffering? Just live on a farm, Jack. Just go live on a goddamn farm. Yeah, they're little trophies. The teeth. Can I offer you guys a massage or something? I'm sick of people touching me. I can't think of another situation that would justify me giving a pair of sweaty fellows massages. That's a valid point. Alright, information time. Hope for the best. I think we've got the blowtorch coming up. So we should be able to, uh... Probably provoke a few times and then lie. Alright. Yeah, lie with a 36% chance. I'm sure I'd be successful there. First time watching this game, Thomas. Uh, tough to really explain what it's about. Hopefully somebody in the chat can uh, give you a rundown. Yeah, telling him how you got in isn't the most comp compromising information, I agree. Okay, this one should be uh, fairly easy. This is actually kind of a relief to have this experience. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, think right now. Probably think again, then lie, then provoke a couple times, and then we should be good to go. Assuming this uh, percent just doesn't screw me over again, which could totally happen. We will, uh... Well, actually what we could do is provoke twice, then lie. And then we would be in really good shape. I think that's probably my best bet. Yeah, let's do that. That is probably good. And I'm going to go with an 89% chance, even though I have been screwed over before. Be polite and tell me who you are. Let's lie about it. There we go. There's the successful lie. Beautiful. It's your birthday, Tyler K. Happy birthday, buddy. Hope it's a good one. Alright, so they're off sync now, but hopefully this last provocation by Burden should be enough to get us through the end of the day here. Trust me, you don't want to do this. Tell me about your organization. Oh, shit. Well, let's provoke with Jack here because he's in slightly better condition, I think. And uh, hopefully... Wow, this is uh, going for a lot longer than I expected it to. Hopefully this last prov provocation is going to get us to the end. I'm really hoping so. He's got to take a shit. Beautiful. Shouldn't have attended that jalapeno party. Eat fire, shit tears, beautiful. Oh, Cunjan Sam, doing good. How you doing, man? 
All right, that went pretty well. Pizza. Pizza would be delicious. But you should eat a man's fist instead. Spent the day hidden in an airway watching holistic baseball matches. That shit is sick, but pretty rad. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, uh, let's go for healing kit this time around so we can take a bunch of damage and uh, use the information that we acquired. Very good. Oh, boy. All right. I think we have Russian roulette on board this time, so obviously a healing kit wouldn't help us out. Oh, shit. Oh, goodness. I forgot about this one. Blah, 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 human rights, all that bullshit. Oh, no. Okay, well, luckily we don't really have to think right now. I can provoke with uh, Burden a couple of times. Oh, man. 75% chance to lie. I'm going to have to take a gamble there. Which probably will not go my way, the way things have been going. To be super safe, what I could try to do is think one time. Yeah, it's pretty much Torture Simulator for this mission. Basically what's going down. Okay, well... I don't like my odds with 75%. I mean, we got information. I'm surprised that that percentage is still so low. Uh... Tell you what. I am going to think here, and then I'm going to beg, and then I'm going to lie. That's my, uh... That's my best bet. Oh, poor Jack. Yikes. Alright, let's beg. Hope for the best. Plenty of time. Okay, good. Wonderful. Now we lie. Just people oppressed by the Holistic Empire, we and the, the Resistance, and we'll overthrow your empire. Beautiful. Okay. Why are you looking at our lab? Let's provoke with Burden again. We can get Burden in, uh, uh, kind of iffy shape. Ice cream in the fridge. All right. There we go. Whew. Man. There we go. Yeah, Burden is struggling. Ever dusk. Jack was on the wall. He was on the torture wall over here while that was going down. Hi, guys. Nothing of interest. Alexander's mother was a half breed offspring from a Jorgal Titan. Is that even possible? Yes! This guy's strength isn't human. That doesn't surprise me. That's kind of crazy, though. Uh, I think I need a healing kit this time around. We got information last time, I believe. Oh, just kidding. We got a healing kit that time. That works out. Okay, I think I'm fine with that. But, shit, I think we have the revolver coming up. Oh, no. Dude, if that if that kind of stupid mistake is what gets me killed here, or ends the mission really, uh, that would be uh, that would be really shitty. Use use a an axe or something, please, or just your fists. A fist is a better option too. He's got the gun. He's got the gun. Okay. <sighs> well, wish me the bear luck, I guess. Wish me the bear luck. Let's think. Ugh. One out of six chances. Why are you interested? I mean, I might as well think again. And I think we'll try to provoke him. <sighs> Jesus Christ. One out of five chances. 69% lie chance. I'm going to provoke. Because that should reset my odds. Reset the fun. Okay. We're going to think again. Don't you give me this one in seven. Thank you. Alright. We can lie successfully here. There we go. We want to steal all the intel we could from the Holistic Empire. Information is power. Yes. Yes, it does make perfect sense. I'm gonna think. He's got a healing kit, so I might as well try to improve my odds in this next day. Hope for the best! Ah! Jesus Christ, my back is killing me from holding up this heavy gun! Good, call it a day. Holy shit. If you wanna play the herd, it's my duty to beat the Everling shit out of you. That says hero, doesn't it? I'm a dumbass. 
play their herd. <laughs> Although that in uh, s some instances could work too. What if we just die? I'm tired of fighting. Nah. Just don't die, Jack. Just don't do that, man. You dummy. Alright, we got a healing kit for no reason. We found a library. We'll go for information this time. God, I really wish I hadn't gotten the healing kit. That was so stupid. That does nothing for me. Really shitty. Painkillers would have even been a good option this day. Kind of sucks. Yeah, you can play the herd if you want. Yeah, exactly. Braylight, how you doing? Welcome back. Ready for your next session? It was a tough job torturing people. Tough stuff. I feel bad for him. Praise the Triple King. Uh, the Jacolo picture from RPG's Earthbound Marathon. No, I don't think I've seen it. I'd like to. Alright. I think it's just fists today. We have information coming, so uh, I should probably... Take a lot of damage, then think to get ourselves back up to decent shape. So I'll think and then I'll provoke a couple of times and then I'll probably uh, use the lie. Yeah, because they're in okay shape right now. So let's provoke with burden again. We'll lie now. Actually, I'm going to provoke with Jack one more time, and then we'll probably lie. Yeah, there we go. And then this should be okay. We're in a deep cave located on the planet of Senecos. Its hostile environment keeps us safe from most governments. Makes sense. There we go. What do you plan to do with the intel you stole from our database? I plan to provoke you. That's my, uh, that's my plan in general. That's what I really want to do. Yeah, fisticuffs time. That is, uh, that is a welcome day for us. You won't steal the car, confess your plans. No, thank you, buddy. We'll just keep taking a beating. Holy cow, but he's not letting up today. My goodness. Wow, he is still going. All right, let's try begging. Please stop or I'll die. Okay, yep, yeah, that didn't go well. Good God, really? We're still going today? I mean, beg again, I guess. God damn it. That's not good. Seriously? How long do we have to go today? My god! You're killing me here. Just try one more time. Oh my fucking Christ. Is this real? Beg with Jack. He's actually dying. Okay, breathe. Good. How long do we have to go to- I'm confessing, dude. Screw this. This won't hurt your empire. We wanted to blackmail the Constellar Federation. I'm not going to think because I'm getting 100% information, or 100% uh, lie chance from the information I'm getting tonight. The little rats that you are, you bought the cargo access codes in the black market. You say you wanted to blackmail those pigs from the Constellar Federation. Still things that bug me. We're still going today. Good lord. Okay. Uh, I'm going to provoke. No, I'm going to... Yeah, I'll provoke with Jack. Please. Thank you. Time for the secret weapon. Red Blake grabs, blah, 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 blah. Whew. I was hoping we'd get lucky with the beg, but that was uh, that was the opposite of luck. I probably should have just keep pro kept provoking, I guess. I think Alexander has muscles in places that shouldn't exist on a human being. <laughs> I'm starting to like my chair. I wonder what that brute's face looks like. Maybe he's a cutie under the hood. That would be even scarier. Oh, shit. Okay, please give me some good news. Abraham, will you marry me? Shut up and kiss me. <laughs> Alright, healing kit, and we got information this day. Kern Smith Bandit family, there we go. I'm having a good time. Don't tell me I'm not having a good time. I'm having a great time. It's just stressful. Oh, burden's on the wall now. Wow. Okay. This is new. Hmm. Tell me everything about your leader. Well, we're going to have to provoke with Jack a couple times. My lie percent is really not that high. Oh, boy. A glove can be a pain in the ass. Oh, we can provoke for free with Jack. Okay. So let's provoke here. Oh, shit. Oh, God. He's in bad shape. 
All right. Tell you what, just to guarantee that we get at least one successful lie, I'm gonna think here. Let burden stretch out once. Oh my god. All right. I could beg. I think I want to beg. No, I need to lie. We don't want to take that chance right now. All right. So, we can provoke with Jack. We can beg now because I'm pretty sure. Well, actually, if I beg and it fails, then Burden dies. So, what if I provoke? You got tired from your job at the circus? Okay. Tell me your names. I have to beg. I don't want to confess again here. I should confess if I want to play it safe, but I'm going to beg. Are you fucking kidding me? That looks uncomfortable, it sure does. Okay. Well, fuck this, I guess. I'm never passing mission two. Alright. I'm done trying, man. It doesn't want me to win. It doesn't want me to win. I'm done. I'm done. Let's switch games. Let's go uh, do some Necrothon. I'll be back in a few minutes. Thanks for watching. See you soon.